All right. Um, hello, my name is Maisie Sales, but I also go by Egg, um, and I am a freshman at Bryan High School. George, thank you, Scar! Um, my poem is called The Little Things and Major Trigger Warning for Suicide and Depression. February 15th, 2022, I, I officially decided to kill myself. I had been bullied by the past for the past year by someone I thought was a friend and had just gotten into an argument with my parents about my grades or my homework or something. I don't really remember. Those things combined allowed me to convince myself that I was useless and unloved despite there being no logic backing that claim. In the middle of the night, I texted my best friend, quote, I love you. I can't do it anymore. I don't think I'm gonna make it to 14. And that's not your fault. You've done so much for me. You aren't the one that failed me. You're the one that's been there for me. I love you a billion. He managed to talk me off that ledge and I'm forever grateful that he did. He texted my counselor and had a friend that had my mom's number text her. I got the help I needed. But my favorite thing about that story isn't the fact that Corey got me help or that I was able to work my way up to where I am now. My favorite part is what Corey said to get me off that ledge I was on. He listed reasons for me to live. Not the normal ones I hear everywhere like, just try one more day or it's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. He said, and I'm paraphrasing here, don't worry. Who's gonna help me clean the chicken coop? I need a roomie after college. When I have my dramatic runaway phase, whose house am I gonna go to? Who's gonna help me with my math? You're the only person I feel comfortable around and the reason I make friends. He went on for a while, but I won't bore you with the more personal ones. He taught me to live for the little things. And most importantly, he taught me that it's okay to live for others. By leaning on him for the months that followed February, I am now confidently able to say that I live for myself. I live for coffee shops and horse shows instead of being held together by one good day. Because of him, I can really say, for the first time in years, that I am happy that I am alive right now. So to Corey and anyone else who has ever helped someone off that ledge, thank you, truly.